artist, Shelly here. Today I'm sharing with you my secret weapon to becoming a better artist. And it's quick pose sketching. Yep, that's it. If you're not familiar with quick pose sketching, it is a 60 second sketch focusing on getting down the gesture or movement of the pose, no details, and very loose. They are not intended to be works of art. This is something I like to do every morning before I move on to working on more formal paintings. This is part of being an artist, just as practicing scales is part of being a professional musician. At quickpose.com, you'll find a variety of poses to practice from. You can go in and you can set up if you want to do a full figure or just a face. You can choose your gender. You can select both genders. They even have a clothing or a partially clothed nude option. And then in the interval section, you can choose how long you want the pose to last. So you could start off perhaps with a 60 second pose and then move to longer poses. They even have a custom interval setting that you can put in there. And then you choose how many poses you wanna do. You wanna do 10 poses, 20 poses or more. You have that option to choose from. And then if you want, you can pop in your email and they'll actually send you a certificate of completion. So then just hit start and then the poses begin. So here you can see my first sketch. This is an actual 60 second sketch. And I just, I use charcoal, but you can experiment with different things. I'll show you some of the other medias that I use with my quick pose sketching as we move through the video. So I'll warm up with several 60 second poses, and then I like to move on to a five minute pose. This will allow you to add in a little bit more detail or maybe even focus in on one single feature of a face. You wanna to try to finish the pose within 60 seconds, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Just have fun with it. Uh, you can put down as much of the pose as you want and just move on after that to the next one. And I'll just plop them all right here on the same page so I'm not wasting any paper. And you can do them smaller or bigger. You just need to experiment to see what you like. So I'll just fill up a whole page in the morning. This is truly a great way to get warmed up. You wanna get your brain communicating with your hand. You want your eyes seeing and communicating with your brain and your hand and get everything warmed up and ready to go for the day of creating. The number one thing that you have to be able to do, no matter what kind of artist you wanna be, is you have to be able to draw. If you can't draw your arts not going to really get to the level that you probably are aspiring to be and the only way to get better at drawing is to practice it and i have been doing this for many many years and it's still something that i go to it's a really great way to start any creative day there are a lot of different websites that you can find that have quick pose offerings um, the one that I have here, quickpose.com, is one I like. Uh, when the pose comes up, if you don't care for it, you can hit skip. They show a little bar at the bottom. You can see on the sample there, and it kind of shows your progress and how much time you have left in that 60 seconds or if it's a five-minute uh, pose where you're at on the time schedule. And I think they offer up some really awesome poses, things that you might not see all the time. And uh, it's interesting to draw things that you might not usually be painting. <laughs> Here are a few tips to help you along the way if you're new to quick pose drawing. Uh, you wanna capture the essence of the pose. You can put details in later if you still have time. Let mistakes happen. Don't worry about erasing. Do these drawings daily and try to complete the drawing on time. If your drawings are coming out without the proportions quite right, then try drawing the hip and the backbone first and then building out from there. That'll usually anchor your pose and get you started on the right track. Try different drawing materials and don't forget, have fun. What you're seeing now is one of the longer five minute poses so you can put in a little bit more detail here. So if you've selected the face option, then in the five minute pose, you can go ahead and maybe just focus on one of the features if you really wanna work on getting the detail in on that. So by practicing the quick pose daily, you wanna keep your notebooks 
And after I'd say a month even, you go back and you look at your quick pose sketches from where you began and where you've made it to at that point, and you're gonna really see how your quick pose drawings improve, and they're gonna improve quickly. <laughs> And then you'll see just how effective it moves into helping your paintings improve. All right, so now I'm doing a quick pose with actual oil paint, which is more natural to how I like to um, operate. <laughs> but there's also some, uh, sometimes I like to use a ballpoint pen. And then there's also some liquid charcoal, which is interesting to play around with. But as one of the tips recommended, you wanna go ahead and try different materials, play around with it, pastels, watercolors, just get out of your normal habits of whatever uh, medium that you use and try some other things. So I hope this has inspired you to get out your notebooks and warm up every day with a little shot of quick pose sketching. Remember, I'll put a link in the description to the quickpose.com site. And there's also some special offers for you guys in the description. Uh, I've got some tutorials that are on sale. And then there's also some links to some free tutorials. If you haven't grabbed them, go ahead and do that now. You're going to want to have those. They're really good. There's uh, three ways to start a portrait painting. And then there was one for uh, painting the eyes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've been inspired and are going to get your sketchbooks out and start a quick pose today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.